Red 2 standing by, all four lit and in the green. Excuse me, I'm doing my intro. We have to shoot our way past these flames to get to that toll hole. And of course the hitboxes on the flames are just a little bit too big. Which has probably put us in a bad way right off the start, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. So we need to go in at full health, basically. Might as well shoot this down and pick up some of the eggs that spawn up here. That switch winds up triggering the shock jump pad we need in order to get to the final boss. I'll see if we can top up our health here. Yes, we can. So basically make your way through those fires with your ice eggs and get ready for the final boss. That should give us enough room. Rightio, with the, f with the ice melted, we can make our way back down here. And pick up some eggs that will help us in the fight. Time to get going on the last boss of the game and get... And get everything done. Let's roll. Thank you, Klungo. That's fantastic. To stop the bear, my plans are drastic. If this won't work, you know what to do, because I'll be counting on plan two. Standard grunty fight. Dodge as she wanders around. Use the Talon Trot to dodge her attacks with a bit more flair. But it doesn't matter what attack you use, she'll still wind up taking damage. So, she'll start shooting at us. Then she'll dive bomb. Dodge her attacks. Those take off two pieces of health. Use that pause and get away from her attacks. With Talon Trot, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Now she starts going into bomber mode. Watch her shadow, avoid the flight path. Whoops. Basically, stay on the edges and it's a bit easier to dodge that. This one's fairly easy to get through without losing any health. Don't think you've beaten me so quick. I've got a plan. I'm not so thick. What we get is a watered-down version of Grunty's Furnace Fun. Press A on these and you answer very fairly basic questions. Apparently the GBA couldn't handle a full quiz. Now you've entered my fair castle, I'm going to give you lots of hassle. Before you can go up a floor, I'll test your brain a little more. When an answer is correct, with button A you can select. So, where is this? That is... The Quarry Heights. Oh, this one. This is basically the mini game, the uh, time challenge mini game space in in the original the. Might as well just mash the L and R buttons.
I didn't do so well at this one last time, which was a bit of a nuisance. Oh, it has the turning circle of a small moon. Oh. I'll have to leave that one. Jeez, this thing does not turn very well. That's probably screwed me up. I'd probably lose health for that. Oh no, wait. Oh no, please don't send me through that one. This one I should be okay at? That shouldn't have counted. That shouldn't have counted. That's got a better hitbox than when I played last time. I didn't think that should have counted. Drat, I'll see you at the next fight. It seems you got the answer right. So now we fight Klungo, and Klungo is actually a bit of a pain. Because Klungo summons Spookos this time. You need to make sure that Klungo winds up at the top of the room That's why he's a pain, because they're ra because it's random. Oh, we got honeycombs. They haven't given me honeycombs before. That went surprisingly smoothly. So I'm trying to save my voice for doing this. It's probably a bit worn out from doing some of that rasping. So where is this? That is Spiral Mia. Which as I mentioned in my notes, that's a Jinjo. We don't get the springy step shoes in this game. Good old Spiral Mountain. Where is this? That's the bayou. And Spiller's Harbour. This quiz is great, it builds my power. It's time to see you on the tower. The time has come to end this game, the future cannot be the same! To your destruction, you both race of bear and bird, I'll leave no trace! My victory will be most splendid when I rule all and your life's ended! Basically, watch for the patterns and... Grunty's ghost comes out of the mecha this time! Attack that to score a solid hit on her. You can't land multiple hits. You'll just have to settle for attacking her once. Just like the old days, the Talent Trot is invaluable. Every two hits, she'll change up her pattern. So keep an eye on, on those patterns, some are familiar, some are new. Put your dodging skills to good use. And beat the old hag up. The bombing round is probably one of the easier ones to avoid.
All right, pack whack works. Where's that ghost gone? This time she fires homing spells. Dodge those homing spells with the Talon Trot because we can't summon the Wonder Wing at will. Whoa, it actually worked! Although you've smashed my mecha suit, don't think you've given me the boot! Now I've trapped you on my tower, I'll crush you with my ghostly power! Watch for the one with a shadow underneath it. And there we go! Ah, this can't be! My plans are ruined! It's all Banjo and Kazooie's doing! And watch Grunty fly around with very basic screeching. Why she splashes into the window is kind of beyond me, but there we go. Obviously, they didn't have the sound for glass break. Well, Kazooie, it looks like we managed to foil Grunty's plans just in time. Now that she's defeated, we can finally get Mumbo to send us home. We shouldn't hang around, you never know what Gruntilda's planning next. Why are my henchmen fools and twits? That mega grunty just fell to bits. Plungo, get here now, be quick. This defeat makes me feel sick. Listen, Klungo, save your shoulder. You'll never shift this massive boulder. If you insist on getting blisters, first send a message to my sisters. Gruntilda's sisters would eventually come to get her. But for now, we're doing all right. Bear and Bird did pretty good job, but would never have done it without help from Mumbo. Klungo lucky Gruntilda stuck under rock. Which can't beat henchmen with mecha scraps. And now we undo the hypnosis for the first episode, with Banjo spiraling around. Always made me Rob's final smash in Brawl always made me think of a hypnotic spiral, so it just got nicknamed Hypno Beam. And there we go! Royston is still on the barbecue. Panjo, the Jinjos are free at last. We'll spread the news that Grunty's gone and we can reclaim our homeland. Thank you, Bear and Bird. Whee! Grant Kirkhope does the voices for them. Oh, hi there, Banjo Kazooie. Thanks to you, the past is as it should be. Nothing has changed and the future looks bright. Shame all this has had no effect on Mumbo. Speaking of Mumbo, I've got to run. Bye! Whee, whee. And various cheers as the Jinjos disappear. Oh, home at last. What do you say, Kazooie? You shuffle the cards while I call for bottles and the others. Might even finish a game this time. Mumbo finally get chance to learn bee dance. Maybe Honey Bee see Mumbo's special transformation sometime. That's probably not the right thing to do, Mumbo. There we go, not bad. We have to finish the game in under 2 hours 20 to get the magic rank. But we did pretty well, all things considered. So there we are, we're celebrating with the, the Bleaters, Miss Bucket, the Jiggy Priest, who is probably still ranting to this day, Honey Bee, Mumbo, the Briegel Elder, Boz Eye, I think Alfred Peacock, and the little Squitters. So, go down this slide, and collect as many tokens as we can to unlock various minigames.
not a bad game, all things considered. It's very short, but it is still an enjoyable adventure. I have a lot of fun with this one. It's kind of simple in some ways, but it's also a lot of fun, even just as a simple exercise. Yes, the fact that it is so short is genuinely bothersome. I'm not going to lie on that one. But I do just have a lot of fun with this. It's good to just switch off and enjoy. You can probably blitz through it in an afternoon if you're dedicated, let's be honest. But at the same time, it's just sort of something you can pick up, have a bit of fun with, and really just enjoy. It's perhaps not the greatest send-off the duo could have asked for because, well... After this, the next game we got was uh, Nuts and Bolts, and that was incredibly controversial. It's Realistically speaking, I'd say it's a good game because of the creativity. It's just not a good banjo game. This, it's it basically delivers everything you want from a banjo game, but being a little bit basic. It'll get the job done if you're looking for sort of quick entertainment. It's got some pretty good music. I mean, the perspective can kind of mess you up a bit, if I'm going to be honest, and some of the massive damage increases in the last level are a bit of a nuisance. Almost like it's a little bit untested in some ways, but overall, it's not its not too challenging. It's probably got a decent balance of things, but it's just something you can sort of switch off and enjoy with, and I greatly appreciate that. A little bit a little bit goofy but it's still got some of the magic it's at least charming which for me is fairly important because I want to have games that I can sort of connect with and I do connect with this one that's always going to be the most important thing for me that the fact that we've got that little extra charm that little extra quirkiness just how entertaining it can be and it is simple but it's entertaining now, as I said, I do want to basically run up to Squitter's Harbour. Hi. We'll add in that last demonstration. We will have to beat the game usually a second time to unlock all the mini games by getting the credits. Credits in the credits. I suppose that's fair enough. It's a typically cheesy pun. 326, not too shabby. I'd have to no knock another hour off that, but we're pretty set. So yeah, this is a game you can complete incredibly easily, but if you have a lot of fun with it, it can keep you coming back. At least, I think it's incredibly enjoyable, so... It's, uh, it's not bad for what it is, for the time and the limitations. This was sort of... In a sense, it's kind of like a little farewell present. It's like, we can't really do anything big, unfortunately, because this was made around the time of the sale of, of Rare to Microsoft, but it's it's a little farewell present, really. And I'm happy with that. It does enough for me. So, we have the Egg Scramble from the first level. The Sheep Dip, Battle Boats... That's Cap Captain Blubbers, the Grubby Shoot. And we need... So let's see, that should be Mr. Rapovsky's Fishing, Mr. Rapovsky's Slide, the Fishing Game in Freezing Furnace, and the Snowy's Game in Freezing Furnace. So this basically lets you play the mini-games. But there we are. We've managed to get everything pretty much sorted out. We're 100% complete. And we can leave our levels behind. I'm surprised that a few things actually went a little bit differently. Because when I played through it uh, as practice, I didn't get any honeycombs at all during the final boss. I'm surprised they turned up. But there we go. We have had quite the adventure. A simple one, but an enjoyable one. At least I hope it's been enjoyable for everyone anyway. As we make our way back, right down to the bottom of Spiral Mountain, our retro Spiral Mountain, it's the end of another adventure. We've had a very good mission, I think. We can wind up where it all began, 
in this little clearing when Mumbo sent us back to the past. Well, Banjo and Kazooie would return in, would obviously chronologically return in Banjo Tooie. Maybe I'll get to do those games someday. We'll see what happens. But, until the next mission, look after yourselves and be good to one another. It's really important. Times like these, we need a lot of that togetherness. We need unity. We need the community to come together and back each other up. But until then, this is Red 2, signing off. I'll see you on the next mission.